I wake up every day like, yo, E, you got to take control, bro. Because if you don't take control, we live in a society outside of your house. You live in a world full of sharks. This world is run primarily by sharks. And I promise you, if you don't become one, they will eat you alive. And there's some folks out there that are some sharks. But if they have it that way, you'll be in student loan for the rest of your life and you'll be a slave. It ain't about student loan. It's about making you a slave. Take control. This ain't about no money for me. It's about freedom. I want to be able to get up and walk wherever I want to walk. I need y'all to get out of slavery. Life is a marathon, baby. If you stop running, you won't get to the finish line. So as long as you can hear the sound of my voice, don't you ever stop moving. Don't you ever go backwards. And sharks never retreat. Sharks never retreat. And those big, powerful creatures got close to the camera and all you can see was muscles and scars. Scars and muscles. Why? Because sharks know how to fight. You can ask the question. You got some wounds. You got some scars. But are you still willing to battle? Are you still willing to fight for success? Fight for being wealthy. Fight for getting out of debt. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your family. Fight for whatever you gotta fight for. The thing I love about a shark, they never stop fighting. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that your mindset is to be a shark. Sometimes in the day you're a shark. Sometimes in that same day you're a soft fish. But don't you ever be a parasite. Why? Because parasites connect and all they do is suck the life out of you. All they do is suck the confidence out of you. All they do is suck the momentum out of you. Why? Because parasites take and they don't give. They would take your confidence. They would take your self-esteem. They would take your money. That's what a parasite's job to do. They'll attack your brain so you can't think right. They'll attack your nostrils so you can't breathe right. When you get connected to a parasite, their job is to destroy you. So you can't be weak-minded out here. You can't be desperate out here. You can't be thirsty out here. You can't be frail out here. You must have thick skin and be ready because a parasite can't mess with you if you have thick skin, if you're mentally tough and mentally strong and you know who you are and you know whose you are. If you want to be a shark, they are always hunting. They are always looking. They are always grinding. You got to get to that next level through your movement. You got to get to that next level through your activity. You got to get to that next level by how you operate. Jay-Z, Beyonce, they just move a little different than everybody else. So if you want to be the top, if you want to get to the top, you got to move different. You got to move better. You got to operate different. You got to attack different. You got to think different. You got to be different. Sharks are hunters and predators. They never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. Life is an ocean, and you are swimming in it. So why don't you swim like a shark? He is the king and the smartest animal in the ocean. There are millions and millions of fishes and animals in the ocean, but we don't remember them all. But we all remember the shark. Why? Because he is different. And what makes him different from others? The attitude and the mindset. Similarly, there are 7.8 billion people in the world, but we don't recognize and don't remember them all. We only know less than one person of them. Why? Because they differ from others. And what makes them different from others? The attitude. Sometimes bad things happen in your life. You will face some crisis and tough times in life. But the only thing that can subside you is your mindset. It's their mindset. They think what's done is done. What's gone is gone. We have to move forward now. Because that is the only way to make progress. That is how they react when adversity strikes. Don't let failure stop you. Don't you ever let rejection stop you. Don't you ever let people stop you. You stop moving forward because they said this and they said that. Let me tell you something about what he say and she say. Hate to stop you? Really? 
when you get successful, haters are a part of the landscape. If you don't have haters, your vision is too slow. And then you have the great whites. Oh, then you got the great white sharks, baby. They go deep. They love hunting in the deep. They are always going for the throat, and they don't stop until they win. See, when you go to the swimming pool, most people stay in the shallow end, but not great whites, baby. Not great white sharks. They go into the deep end. They love going deep. For you to become a millionaire, you gotta go deep. Some of you guys gotta read more. Some of you guys gotta study more. Some of you gotta change your relationship. Why? Because your friends are shallow. Your family is shallow. And if you wanna be a great white baby, you gotta get some new friends. You gotta get some new conversations. You gotta get some new material, new information, new access to new people that can take you to a place you've never been. All oh, great white baby, they go deep. It's time for you to go deep. So whatever you put me in, I'm gonna make it out on top. Wherever you drop me off, I'm gonna make it. Why? Because I'm a shot. At the end of my freshman year, my daddy called me on the phone. He asked me questions. He said, Son, you're not playing. Why not? One of the core values of our training and development called family was accountability. He said, So go back and do what you said you're gonna do. He would always ask the right questions at the right time. My father reminded me of what I said I was going to do. I went back to my coach's office. I said, Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He looked confused. This is what I told him. I'm going to become somebody different. What do I need to do to play in the NBA? I'm taking this thing to the next level. We about to rise up. Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He said, you can't run, you can't jump, you can't dribble, you can't shoot, and you can't rebound, son. Next year, I'll be your most improved player. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. I'm connected to a shark. I'm connected to the greatest training organization in the world. And when I get home, I'm going to become somebody different. What do I need to do? You need to have an honest self-assessment about what your weaknesses are. And that's how you get to the next level. My sophomore year rolls around. We go all the way to the Sweet 16, and I'm the top six man in the country. I go back to my coach. What do I need to do to play in the NBA? The list got shorter. The next year, we went all the way to the Elite Eight. We were one shot away from the Final Four, and I'm the top six man in the country. I carved out a niche. And that's what impact players do. They make their community better. They make their city better. They make their town better. They make realtors better. Be an impact player and anyone in your life, if they need a shark, you become their shark. All I had to do was have one good year and I walked right into the NBA. My senior year, everything lines up. But the first game of my senior year, I break my foot. I come back in six weeks and I break my foot a second time. In my mind, my college career was over and my NBA dreams were dead. I have seven points a game. I got offered a $75,000 job because one of our season ticket holders liked me. Right before I took the job, my daddy called me on the phone. He would always ask the right questions at the right time. He said, you had a tough year, son, what's next? I said, daddy, I'm gonna be a hospital administrator, $75,000 job. He said, not bad, son, but can I ask you a question? Do you believe you're an NBA player? Come on now, Dad. I only have seven points a game, Dad. We're not like these other black families that just need basketball, Dad. We're educated, Dad. We're not dependent on basketball, Dad. We're balanced, Dad. We're educated, Dad. I got a $75,000 job, Dad. Do you believe, son? He was checking my mindset. He was checking to see, was I thinking like an A student? Or was I falling back into that C mindset? Do you believe you're an NBA player? I said, yeah, that I do. Do you believe you're an NBA ball player? I do, daddy. Go for it, son. Go for it. I go back to my coach's office. And I said, Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He teared up. I teared up. He said, I'll be honest with you, son. 
When I recruited you, I heard you was a mama's boy. But you're not. In fact, you're one of the toughest players I've ever had. He said, you're just like your daddy. My daddy was a shark. And I was a sucker fish. But that moment was my opportunity to turn into a shark myself. If you hang around sharks long enough, it will transform your mindset. And I promise you, you will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die. What do I need to do to play in the NBA? He said, if you do those two things, you're playing the NBA. You got to better shoot the three-point shot with range. And you got to lose about 15 pounds because you don't pass the eyeball test. When I talk about the eyeball test, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. He says the NBA thinks you're a football player trying to play basketball. You got to lose weight to change the perception. I lost 15 pounds. And I became the first ever undrafted rookie free agent in the history of the NBA to start opening night. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. 